I was a tinker, a, a builder, worked as a carpenter and loved that. But being my father was a doctor, there was an expectation that I'd become a doctor. One of my father's friends said, look, I know you're supposed to be a doctor, but you like to build things. You should go into medical engineering. You get to doctor and build. I said, great. University of Florida campus had you know, a world-class building construction school and a medical school. I selected engineering as a way to do pre-med. Once I started doing the engineering stuff, I found it fascinating. I ended up taking the medical school entrance exam. For the first time in my education, I actually thought about what it's gonna be like to be a doctor, because this was the stepping stone to being a doctor. And I really, I actually didn't really wanna be a doctor anymore. I really liked the engineering stuff. And I remember calling my parents and saying, good news and bad news. Good news is, the test wasn't that hard. It was a lot easier than I thought. Bad news, don't wanna be a doctor anymore. And my mother, with no hesitation, said, good, because she never read directions anyway. You didn't think you'd be a good one. You're doing it for your father. I've been very fortunate to be able to spend a significant amount of time with Chris. He's an amazing individual. Chris is a rock star, not only among scientists and engineers, but in any sort of gaming community. When I left school, I ended up joining Hewlett Packard Corporation out in California and worked there for six and a half years, worked my way into designing a CPU chip for them and leveraged that into a job at another company called Sun Microsystems, where I ended up working on computer graphics. And there I met my colleague, Curtis, and we were designing graphics devices for the Sun Workstation. Got together with our friend Jensen, a supplier of chips to Sun Microsystems, and we decided to start NVIDIA to go pursue uh, multimedia in the PC space, which was a rather young, immature technology at the time. He is incredibly intellectually curious and very good at connecting the dots between disparate technologies. And he's also very good at matching up applications with technologies, something he did very well at NVIDIA. And in fact, the entire company was built on the premise of taking a technology they had and using it for an application space very different from what they had originally contemplated. The GPU turned out to be a evolutionary advance over the previous graphics accelerators. It took what was a fixed function device that implemented a very specific set of algorithms and mathematics and approach to computer graphics and started making more and more of those elements programmable. We eventually consolidated all that mathematics into computer cores and that led to a broadening of the utility of the GPU. But the GPU kept evolving because of the insatiable demand of gamers. High frame rate, high fidelity, ever improving visuals. And that insatiable demand pushed us to come up with a very elegant, very high performance solution. NVIDIA's development of the GPU has had tremendous impact on both consumer market and also in science and engineering. More recently, NVIDIA has developed applications which utilize GPUs in machine learning. And as we know, machine learning is one of the most significant advances of this decade and will be so for the next probably 10 to 20 years. Simulation and modeling have replaced, you know, wet labs and physical modeling in many respects. It's lent itself to find the structure of the HIV virus to help advance personalized medicine and genomics, discovery of drugs, the discovery of new energy sources, been at the heart of the new wave of autonomous vehicles. But ultimately, I think the real benefit will be stuff you don't notice. Changing the way people design products, changing the way people do science. It's allowing software to, in essence, write software to go solve problems. I got where I am because I don't think I have a lot of ego. I really only have the objective in mind. And I'm very cognizant of the fact that I'm working with people. And I'd like them along for the ride.